Give me my golden one. I guess. Yep. <laughs> I knew you were gonna do it. Is this I am recording? exhausted. Oh, yeah. I think so. Did you push it? I don't know. Oh! Welcome back. We're the Burn Junkies. He's Dan. I'm Sean. Tonight we talk about top available whiskeys of the yeah. year. 2021's best available whiskeys, according to us. We forgot something for sure. Let us know in the comments <laughs> below what you think we missed. In so, no particular order. How about that? In this is, you know what? It is in particular order. Is is it? I don't know. 20 minutes later. Eighth best available whiskey of 2021. I think this is actually gonna shock a lot of people. <laughs> it shocked us when we reviewed it. The Dickel eight. Bourbon eight year. What, $30? Dude, something like so, that? Yeah, it's like 25 bucks. And Hyper available. Hyper available, 90 proof, super crushable. Yeah. They supposedly, the good. reason this is labeled bourbon on it, is they supposedly picked their type one barrels is my understanding of it now. They okay. have types of barrels. They have type one through four. Sure. One is the most off profile for Dickel but the most on profile for a bourbon. The rest of the people drink, that want yeah. to drink whiskey. That makes sense. And then four being the most like minerally, dickly, nutty, whatever, right? Copper's tongue. Yeah, exactly. Sweetens Cove type whiskey. Yeah. Somebody just explained this to me. This could all be fake. I have no idea. Sounds like fake news. But, but it sounds like it could be real you. too. This is fantastic whiskey for the price. We, Blew our socks off. We literally bought it thinking we were going to dump on it because it's dickle. Yeah. But it's good. It was a new release and yeah. it's Tennessee bourbon. Mm -mm. Actual. Mm -mm. It says bourbon. Big That's glass. That's true. Bottle number. I didn't even think about this. What number? Seven. Seven. We started at eight. We went back to back dickle here. Well, couple one, two dicks. So. Oh, wow. I also didn't like the phrasing on that one. <laughs> You're two for two. <laughs> this is sent to us by Robert Chino. Lots of So, stuff. this is a, another Dickel product. We have a, a store pick over there that we like a lot. Yeah, it's fantastic. Uh, this is the, the normal one that you'll find on the shelf. Yeah that you can walk in, find Blue Note. Yep. I don't think it's 50 ish box, I think 45, 50 range. Really good too. This is like legitimately again, something we reviewed. Crushable. Thinking good. like we probably aren't gonna like that. And then we ended up loving it. It's fantastic. So some of the picks. It was Dickel that we liked. I don't know what you want me to say. Alec! Jesus. It's always Alec, dude. He's always calling what the trouble What are you doing? Set, dude. His brother Bradley never does this. Alec's kind of a drama queen. Bottle number. Six, Dan. I mean, this isn't technically new, but kind of new. It's a re-release. This is one of my favorite whiskeys. He says that now. Off, off screen, Ever. he's like, I don't even like it. Um, <laughs> I don't even kill bottles. So this is the re-release of 19. New label. It came with the new label. They say it's the same thing. Yep. We blinded most of them now and found considerable differences between them. This 1910, this bottle with this new label on it, we were absolutely in love with it. Smashed our old label of 1910. Yes, one in close. It's around 50 to $55 in most places, and it's also available almost everywhere. Big distillery, and they're like, listen, I think this slaps the living hell out of Woodford Double Oak. I knew you were gonna say Same that, price. and you're just a bad person. This is so much better. Woodford Double Oak is thin, oh my gosh. too sweet, hard to drink. All right, bottle number. I'm surprised you remember that. Actually a newer one to the hut. This is the newest one, and this is um the first time, at least in our that we can remember that we've had dry fly. Where are they out of, Dan? They're out of Washington. Oh, I'm shocked you knew that. So dry fly, straight wheat whiskey. This is an eight year. This is 133.5 proof. Oh, it's so good. That was 49.99. That was 130 proof. Three. I had it before we put it on here, yeah. and I didn't know it was 130 proof. Yeah, and it was oh, 49.99. That's so cheap. And that's Eight craft. Wheat whiskey? It's craft distillate. It's their distillate. How about this bottle being way better too? Yeah. It's a nice bottle it shape. It says dry fly down there, which is cool. This is fantastic whiskey. I love like that a lot of the craft distillate lately has been getting way better. Oh yeah. Dude, oh, I cool. think a lot of people's stocks are getting older. Yeah, and for it, sure. And it's really starting to show with products like this. Yeah. People are getting more experienced. Yeah. I mean, dude, this is an eight year. They have a whole lineup. There's another one over there um, that's not a wheat whiskey, that's a bourbon. All their products are just, the, all of the ones I try, which were four of them, were all fantastic. That one's so, fantastic. This one's awesome. Number so, four. Before we get into our fourth bottle, oh. we're gonna talk to you about the sponsor today. Yeah. Shaker and Spoon. Today. Today, we're making. I probably just clipped the mic. Some, today, we're gonna Some foxtails. I wish you wouldn't. <laughs> Sean is doing a recipe called Citrus Paradisi. I'm doing a, a one called Dragon Tears. I'm in on that. That's a battle cocktail if I've ever heard one. Mine says, 
two ounces of oolong tea infused vodka. One eighth ounce pepper cake vodka, syrup. syrup, lime juice, and rose water to shake her. I can do all that. Dan can't. Okay, I've lost my syrup. Vodka, syrup, lime juice, and rose water. I think that's this. Got it. I got three quarters ounce. This, the citrus green tree. Two dashes, not drops. Three quarters. Of the Chaya Walla Lemon Bitter Blend. I'm gonna get me some fresh <laughs> lime juice. <laughs> One spritz of lemon oil. Oh, yeah, it's about three quarters of an ounce. I always read the ingredients and I never read the instructions. Got that's up. Pop top. There's <laughs> literally a bottle opener right there. <laughs> Oh, that's not even the rose water. This is. Ice. <laughs> so stupid. I opened the wrong thing. And then it says, for the aromatic finishing touch, hold a lip match several inches above drink. Hold the lemon oil spritzer about two inches. Oh, you're going to do it. Oh, I'm doing it. Whoa, daddy. Woo. Holy. Let's go. Did you almost just die? I'm supposed to use a bar spoon and force this down to the bottom. So, no, no. Pour it down that. That's like not that. Dude, I'm a genius. I'm a man of I'm many talents. And a half. Mine smells super lemony. It's gotta be that spritz I just gave it. Not gonna lie, that turned out really, really good. I feel like I could crush about 12 of those on a summer day. I don't even know there's alcohol in there and I know I measured way more than two ounces. Okay, yours is amazing. Yours is incredible. Know. So as you know, Shaker and Spoon is a subscription mm -hmm. cocktail box delivered monthly to your door. Yeah. You get to pick, like they do rum, they do vodka, they do all of them. So you get one box, comes with three different recipes. You get four drinks of each, one bottle of alcohol supplies, everything for the box. Alcohol not included. Alcohol not included. But you get 12 drinks out of each box. Yep. They're fantastic. Check Listen, out, link below, you just yep. click it, head on over. Sign up, badass cocktails, just ship straight to your door yeah. once a month. It's that simple. And then instead real. of going to the bar and paying too much for cocktails that you might not even like, you'll mm -hmm. just start making cocktails at home that you really do like. Yeah. Thank you, Shaker and Spoon, as always, for working with yeah, the channel. We appreciate so the hell out of you guys. Back to the list of whiskeys that we think were best and available yeah. in 2021. What? Wait, hey. Peyton Manning, Tom Brady, Dan Shook. You know what I mean? Pursuit United. <laughs> this bottle comes from the guys over at Bourbon Pursuit. This whiskey oh, yeah. is fantastic. I don't know, like- Dan gave I, it to me blind. I was like, what is that? This it's is really in, good. That's in some Costco's, actually. Yeah. Um, it's also on like Sealbox. Like you can buy it online a lot. I know right now, as we shoot this video, it's currently on Sealbox. But fantastic bottle of whiskey, around 55 to $65 range. Not bad. They blended this from three different states distillate. So it's not just another MGP. It's not just another like, ever, a lot of people have just MGP Ooh. five years right now. It's got a bunch of different distillate, which is really cool. Look at that, dude. This is just a hut, hut, hike football bottle. If you ever want a game day bottle, you know what this bottle reminds me of? I'm trying to think of the, the it bottle It is shape. a larger WB Saffle or Bond and Lillard. Yeah, it's that's what it size. is. You're yeah. right. Yep, and I love it, love it. All right. I was just looking at that like, what is- Alec! Hey, buddy. Alec. <laughs> three, top three of 2021. I think this is where me and Dan diverge a little bit. So, so this is actually number two on our list because we're agreeing on this one. Yeah, the, the other two are tied for first. One's my first and one's Sean's first. Yes, you right. can put whichever one of these third that you want. Yeah. This is not Nothing specific black to this being our blend, but uh, you know, this is our blend. Oh, yeah, it is. But. Penelope Black Labels in general, the toasted, the not toasted, this one's not toasted. Literally any Penelope Black Label, I'm just in on. Like, yeah. they're all around 50 to $60. You get a nice little collection of them now. Some of them they're are toasted. Really good. They're all four grains. Yeah. Like, dude, it's what, like- What more do you want? It's like, the cool part too, a lot of like craft distilleries, and this is source, but a lot of craft distilleries mm -hmm. do four grains, they're all yeah. really funky. Yes. Like super funky. Like maybe a tad too, too much funky. Fun. Mm -hmm. Like back in like the like 70s with a love. Right over there. The level of funk. Penelope Black, just a, just a flat Penelope Black label across the board, doesn't matter which. Right. My first place. Uh, boom! I didn't know. Here, oh, hold on. Garbage. No, we're good. Okay. My we, first place this year, Maker's 46 Cask. I like that one. Um, this used to be only in the gifts, uh, the, the gift set of 375. And then they're like, wow, a lot of people really like that whiskey. Yeah. And then they started bottling in 750s and it was like, this is the best day ever. Sean and I were looking this up and it looks like this used to be an experimental. Yeah. And then they put it in the smaller bottles, like Sean said, for like the holiday three packs. 
And then obviously people liked it in there. So they're like, you know what? Just full blown 750 ml bottle. Honestly, dude, one of my, without a doubt, one of my favorite Maker's products, without a doubt. Um, I think this took Maker's Cask just out of the equation. 100%, like, well, I would you, never buy if it. If you could have this instead of Maker's Cask, there's just not I'd even an option. Buy that. Yeah. And I know that that might technically be limited, but it was like in Costco's, it was in like every, it was everywhere. So my little, first place, too for Sagamore Double Oak. Yeah. Rah. Another one that Dan's crushed like five bottles of. I've well, legitimately killed at least three. So here's the thing. They do batch these. So batch to batch, they get a little bit different. Now they do age them. Like the whiskey is getting older as they're yeah. batching, which is I think making it even I better. Um, this is finished for, what was it like 18 months? Yeah. Um, Cause they, they were doing an aging uh, experiment up through and they found like 18 months or something like that. Like being the sweet was spot Was their, their sweet spot where everything comes together. Yeah. This yeah, bottle yeah, is long. around 55 to 60 bucks. It's available everywhere Sagamore is available basically. And I like, without a doubt of their non-limited series, this is easily my favorite one. I agree. Easily. For like more of like an available daily type drinker. I know the price range isn't daily, yep. but that's the one I like without a doubt. And even if you one. don't like rye, that doesn't it's drink so sweet. super rye. It's so sweet. It's and so it sweet. It drinks more like bourbon. It drinks way, it, yeah. This is like the best rye ever to get you into rye. If you want to mm -hmm. like journey out and venture out, but yeah. Great. Well, that, that's our list. I don't know. Like Sean said earlier in the video, Put it's in the great, comments down great, below. Put your number one. Just put your, it's just your dang single bottle, just a one in the comments below. We like, love you guys. Comment, subscribe. We appreciate you. Thanks for being here. Happy New Year. You guys, this is going to be a happy New Year. I kind of was watching out of the corner of my eye. Oh. I was just watching the, yeah, I heard it. Oh. Thank you guys for being here for happy another Happy New year. year.